be getting money, niggas know what time it is I don't really trap, but I trap, cause I'm trapped And I really handle business, said they had me, but never had me nah. So I got off, and now I'm happy, yeah I know they talking mad shit about me, talking That's why at the top it be lonely, yeah So I pray, yeah, I'm with that shit huh? You're not ugly, you're not, you're just broke, okay I gotta be real with you, I mean, I'm your friend, so I gotta tell you the truth, okay I can't lie to you, but anyway you're not ugly, honey. You're just broke. You're not ugly. I need you to understand that. That's the realest shit I heard. So that's the realest shit I'm about to repeat. And it's going to be the realest shit I'm about to break down. You're not ugly. You're just broke. So don't be having nobody out here try to tell you. First of all, ain't no such thing as ugly. But there's a such thing as broke. All right? We got to remember that. Um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Okay? There's somebody for everybody. I done seen it all. It ain't my job to judge. It's neither is it yours. Okay? But you're not ugly, you're just broke. And we're gonna start with what I love to start with. What I love to start with is brokenness reflects in the material world, okay? Your material world, okay? And it reflects from what you feel on the inside. So what you feel on the inside, it will show on the outside, okay? So if you feel broken on the outside, everything around you is broken. If you feel be beautiful on the inside, everything around you is beautiful. If you feel ugly on the inside, everything around you is ugly. Everything around you is ugly. That's what we're going we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna to address that right there. You're not ugly. You're just broke. So if you're broke, that means you feel ugly. So everything around you is broken and ugly old because you were taking care of it you gotta remember right the first home we have is ourselves the first home we have is our shell our body that's the first home we have so if we're not taking care of it if we're not loving it if we're not caring for it if we're not speaking kind to it if we're not being gentle with it what do you think the outside world is going to reflect onto you. That, you're gonna meet people who aren't kind to you, you're gonna meet people who aren't gentle with you, you're gonna meet broken people, you're gonna be in broken situations. It's just gonna be ugly for you out there. You ain't gonna be able to buy the nice clothes you want, like a nice, the nice car you want. I don't care what nobody say. There's enough of those for all of us, okay? All right, there's enough. But in order for us to have enough, we got enough to get that. In order for us to receive that, if that's what we want, we all want different things. We have to first feel it from within for it to reflect on the outside of us. That is the truth. You're not ugly. You're just broke. If you feel ugly about yourself, do something about it. Right? Some people are overweight. Right? They feel beautiful. Some people. Don't feel the need to change it. But if you're overweight and you don't feel beautiful, do what you gotta do to fix it. Invest in yourself, go to the gym. Shit, you don't even need to go to the gym, invest in Wi-Fi and or go watch a YouTube video and work out in your living room, okay? Don't gotta live room, go for a fucking jog, okay? No excuse, okay? Whatever it is that you need to do to feel beautiful, do it. Invest in yourself. The more that you invest in yourself, the more that you begin to circulate your investments. You're not ugly, you're just broke. I'm so, I'm, I'm so serious now. You like fashion? All right, instead of go buy that, instead of, if you come from a certain tax bracket, I'm speaking. Instead of going out to buy that liquor at the corner store, all right, go buy some nice clothes for yourself. Instead of going to buy them cigarettes, go do your nails. Don't be having your nails turn yellow. Instead of uh, uh, going to buy anything that, because you're investing, you understand, everything that you do, you invested in cigarettes. When you smoke that cigarettes, that's an investment, but it's not bringing nothing to you but bad health and bad teeth and bad breath. You smoke them goddamn, um, you drink that drink all the time. It ain't making you, it's making you fucking smell like fucking liquor. You ever been around a person 
that drinks, 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 their sweat smells like liquor, alcohol, okay? And that shit is not a good smell. And the world would, you know, would, 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 would say that that is ugly. I'm just saying. I ain't into that. That don't turn me on. I'm just saying. So we just on now. But you're investing in things that's making you ugly. Why don't you go and invest? And, and not only is it making you ugly, it's not helping you bring in more value in your life. Go and invest in more suitable things that makes you more attractive. For you, not for nobody else. For you. You're not ugly, you're just broke. Okay? Start using your money wisely. And at the end of the day, I don't care what nobody tells you, money is endless. Money is endless. We can get money at any given time, at any given moment. There's always ways to make money. Always ways to make money. If you ain't making money right now, there's something you need to figure out on how to go get that cash and make it work for you. Okay? Invest in yourself with that cash. Money always gonna come. Remember that. But what are you doing with that money? You know? It could be the smallest, smallest amount of money. Are you investing it properly? Are you investing it properly into yourself? Not other people now. Especially when you starting with you learning how to do money management. You invest your money into yourself, into your beauty, into the things you love, into the things that put a smile on your face. A smile is so attractive. I don't give a fuck if you don't got teeth. A smile is attractive. A happy person is attractive. And a happy person is somebody who's pouring into themselves. You're not ugly, you're just broke. And you need to make the best decisions with your finances. I need you to understand that now. You're not ugly, you're just broke. Stop investing into the things that's not gonna make you attractive, just stop. I know you might be stressed out, you got bills to pay. You like, damn, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, and you just let me go buy them bogeys, let me go buy them cigarettes, let me go buy that liquor, let me go buy anything. Don't get me wrong, I like to drink, but can't do it too much. Okay, all that money you spending on, you could be putting into yourself, go pay for a gym membership or something. Take care of yourself and start to expand and taking care of yourself. You could do it. You're not ugly, you're broke. You're making broke ass decisions. You're hurt. Spiritual, spiritually, you're hurt, so you're making the wrong decision. Your mind is clouded. Your judgment is off. First of all, you're drinking and you're smoking. You don't know what the hell you're doing. When you could just take the same $30, go shop on Sheen, go shop on Fashion Nova, go shop in this men's clothing store, go shop here and put it on yourself and feel great about yourself. You're not ugly, you're just broke. Make the best decisions and you start making the best decisions from looking within, from looking yourself in the mirror and saying, I don't like what I see and I know I could be better. I know that I wanna look like this and I wanna feel like that and I wanna be like that. And for me to feel and look like this, it starts with me inside, my choices. That's all you gotta do. You're not ugly, you're just broke, okay? And stay away from them damn broke people too because them ugly, broke, whatever the hell you wanna call them people. No, I'm, they're not ugly physically, I'm saying, because there's a lot of beautiful people out here, ugly as hell spiritually. So everything around them that they, is, is they attract is that. So, no, I'm not speaking about that. But the toughest thing you're going to have to do if you disagree this person is break away from those people. Them broken, ugly ass people. Break away from them. Spiritually, broken people, ugly people, break away from them. It's the most difficult change and addiction that you must break away from before you think you're going to break away from alcohol, before you think you're going to break away from cigarettes. Before nine times out of ten, a person that's addicted to something, 
became addicted to something because somebody gave it to them. A broken person gave it to them. A hurt person gave it to them. They literally gave it to them. I had somebody tell me one time, I had a, she was an, she was an addict. She transformed from her addictions. That's so why I know what I'm talking about. I had somebody try to give me drugs. But I have a child. You think I took that shit? No. Had I allowed this person to influence me, I would have been stuck on drugs. We gotta use our minds. Nine times, and you know why she gave it? She wanted to give it? She wanted to give it because it would have made her feel better she had someone in the same turmoil. Turmoil. Broken, broken spirit, Holy spirit. Rest her soul. Nine times out of 10, a broken person and an ugly person is gonna give you something to become addicted to because they need everything on the outside of them to feel whole rather than their own awareness and spirit. Be smart. The first addiction you need to break is the company you keep. Then everything else, have control over when you indulge in this. Have control, discipline of when you indulge in this. Have discipline of when, when you indulge in that. Have discipline with how long you're gonna be around certain individuals. If not, not be around them at all. Have discipline. You're not ugly, you're just broke. And it starts with yourself. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. I love you. I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Peace.